So another question that we've been asked is, how do we secure an insulated plasterboard to the wall? So on this particular um, project, the HMO officer has, has voiced concerns that um, mould and mildew and black mould is going to become a potential issue for the landlord because the existing walls, this being a really old property, are a solid brick wall, which means it's two lots of brick sitting together with no cavity. So in the, in the colder months, when you've got an extreme temperature on the inside, of because obviously it's cold, we all put the heating on, and on the outside it's really cold because it's winter, we then got condensation build up. So the way we combat condensation is it's now a way we live. I've done a video on this before, so I don't want to bore you too much with it. Um, <clears throat> So what we can do is we can either, we need to heat the place and ventilate the place to stop it. And what, what condensation does is it goes to the coldest part of the wall, which is normally in the corner. So you might have some black mold there, like as it's previously been suffering with, etc. cetera, um, because this is an external wall. So another way or a cheap way to do it, especially with the, um, the EPCs potentially changing in the future, is we are, the, the HMO office has requested that the landlord um, upgrades, thermally upgrades all the external walls uh, to which the landlord's agreed. So that's going to keep his, so that's, that's a double-edged sword. So what that's going to do is cost him more on the bill, because obviously now we've got to put more insulation on all the external walls. But what it's going to do is reduce his heat, heat loss, which means it's going to save him money on his energy prices. And at the minute, like I say, energy prices are astronomical. I'm in the wrong game, that's where I should have been in. Um, so yeah, so that's, so that's what's happened on this one. So this particular property now, we are um, thermally upgrading all the external walls. So how do we stick them to the wall, John? Well, there are a few methods, but the normal method we would use to stick a plasterboard to a wall, just a standard plasterboard, is what we call dot and dab. Uh, dot and dab is, dot and dab is, is basically plasterboard adhesive, and it's stuck to the wall. And it goes off and it gets once it goes off it's it's bullet it's really really solid with insulated plasterboards difference because the insulated plasterboard here so what we've got if we can see we've got this line here there this this line on this side is a plasterboard and then this part here is the insulation now the plasterboard has got a backing coat on there which the adhesive would stick to but the insulation has got a different material so as you can see as a light's in it, sitting on it now as, as it's reflecting it's kind of shiny so it's not going to so what we need to do is not just do we need to apply one fixing as in dot and dab or some sort of soft way fixing we need to we need to do a mechanical fixing so mechanical fixing is a screw or something alike so what we do if you can see up there we get some expanding foam so this is the first one. So we get some foam gun, not just any foam, we use something that's called Ilbrook panel adhesive. So Ilbrook panel adhesive, let me try to find a... Uh... So in my foam gun here, I've got some different stuff, like some fire foams, I've been doing some door frames. But this is the stuff that we use to stick it to the wall. If you can see, so it's Ilbrook. Panel adhesive, you can see there where my finger says panel adhesive, which means it's designed to stick panels to walls. And panels mean plasterboard, um, multi-board, all sorts of stuff. However, I wouldn't risk it on its own. I have used it quite a few times. It does set and it does go really, really hard. So literally, we will douse the back with some foam. So it sticks by the, via the foam. And then what we also do is we put some of these little um, insulated plastic fixings, these little caps. And what they are, is these little bad boys. So it's like a T-shape with some little prongs here, above where my finger is. And then it's got a nice big flat end there, which has got like a little bit of a perforated edge. If you can see that, I'm not sure if you can get it. You can get different lengths of these, and that's, de that's depending on the size of the plasterboard. And how it works, is once you've fixed it to the wall with the squirty foam, I'm going to turn this to the side. So you imagine this is a plasterboard. You drill a hole, dependent upon the size and thickness of this. So this is an eight mil. So you drill an eight mil hole. So we drilled it, it's on the wall. We've drilled a hole, we knock it through. And then what happens is that goes through there. 
now too full and anyway. That goes through and inside there and that catches it to get stopping it going any further. And then if we look here, it's flat that side. So once, once you knock it in over here, you can knock it in just beneath the plaster board, which means you can then plaster over it. And you've got a little bit there sticking out. And then the thing that does the work is these little, these little tiny teeth that are on it. So then you get the different size thickness. So because obviously you want to drill a hole into the brick and then once you, once you knock it in, you're not pulling this out because those little teeth bite. So that's literally what it is. So you've got plasterboard with the foam. You've got that going into the brick and then on this back side here, which would be on the wall, is you've got some, what we call crazy foam or some Elbrook panel adhesive. And that's what sticks it to the wall. So there, as you can see, you've got some little plugs there that we put on. This is not finished because we've obviously just put it on there to set. We've got some green foam there, which is the panel adhesive. And that's how we stick them to the wall. So we're gonna, we're gonna drill this multiple times and knock plenty of them plastic pegs in, and then that's gonna hold it to the wall. So I'm hoping that that, um, I'm hoping that that explains it a little bit better. So as you can see, we've got the insulation there plasterboard and we've done the reveal as well and that's what we're going to do all the way around the external